crowds who were gathered to our south and to the north of us. They're about a block away, but even from this standpoint, you could hear some clapping and some cheers and some, some I think, relief that the building was coming down. Amazing moment, and hopefully uh, so many people have looked for a closing chapter in this uh, awful odyssey. Uh, we uh, can only hope that this does start to be the uh, beginning of the end, although certainly it is a moment. While many people will leave Oklahoma City, uh, I don't know that anyone who was here for uh, that day or that week will ever get very far from April 19, 1995. I don't know that people around the world will ever get very far from it because it was a change in the course of American history and that we always considered to be our enemies outside of our borders. And this was a, a wake-up call of sorts that perhaps that's not always the case, that perhaps there are dangers within our borders that we need to take more precautions against and to take advantage of. Of course, the, the repercussions of this bombing being felt across the United States and the world with uh, the White House taking the additional security precautions in terms of closing down Pennsylvania Avenue so that a ride or truck like the one that was here would not be able to address the White House in the same manner that, that the uh, bomb was able to be delivered right in front of the federal building here. The smoke still continuing to come from the site, still drifting up into the right sky. Now. We're looking at the, the smoky scene there. Maybe it's just my continual effort to always see the glass as being half full, but when you do try and find uh, the good that came out of this, clearly whoever was responsible for what first happened here. You're looking at slow motion pictures of the building coming down, and, and it's incredibly similar to the, uh, the computerized, it's, it's, I'm sorry, we're having some problems here. It's very similar to the computerized uh, dramatization that we had. It came down virtually as they said it would with that final elevator shaft coming over the top of it, virtually in one piece. The smoke still coming from the scene right now. But really an incredible sight, even though we had seen that dramatization over and over and over. It was almost a mirror image of it in reality. It was phenomenal. And as I mentioned, it did all seem to go as, uh, as synchronous as it uh, was supposed to. Uh, right at the moment of the implosion, I think I probably lost all remembrance of how it was supposed to happen, but now in recalling it and watching it again, you think about the, the three things that were supposed to happen, they all seem to fall just uh, as we this were is, told they would. Let me just mention that this is a view from Regency Tower that we're seeing right now, Devin. Uh, we had cameras across the Oklahoma City metro area, this one at the Regency Towers, we had one on St. Anthony's Hospital, at the base of the building, all of these replays you'll be seeing in the next few minutes. We stuck with the one original camera we had so that you could see the building coming down in its entirety as you would have seen it had you been down here with us. As, it, uh, as you saw it unfold, it took the eight seconds that they said it would. But again, Devin and I were a little surprised by the magnitude of the, the noise that was involved. I had been kind of led to believe that it would be much quieter than that, but perhaps that is quiet in terms of explosion, but it was loud, louder than I expected. It was certainly quieter than, uh, than the day of the explosion. I know everyone who is down here will tell you that. Here's the, I believe we're now looking at the reverse view of uh, the way the building looked as it came down. Uh, and getting back a little bit to the point that I was uh, making a second, a second ago, uh, yes, the building has gone downtown. There is a huge chasm now in, in the downtown skyline. But on the other side of all that, whoever it was that was responsible for the bombing felt that they could blow a hole in our community. Uh, they actually ended up having the opposite effect that they intended. This community is stronger than they found it. Uh, rather than tearing it apart, they s somehow strengthened it. And I think they perhaps uh, miscalculated.